Hello, good evening. Is anybody there? Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so there's someone there. Yes, just I will have the the camera off a little bit because I'm having dinner right now. So <laughs> just a bit. Good evening. Teacher, I am driving right now um, and stay here in this moment uh, after I, I turn off my my camera. Good evening, teacher. I can hear you. I don't know if it's just me. I think uh, your teacher, uh, your audio is off or something because we don't hear anything. Oh, I think it was a problem with the with the with the speaker. I mean, with the headphones remote. As you can see, it had some lights to tell you if the microphone is off or on. And I don't know why it was off. Now, no, no. Yeah, fine. we can hear you. Okay, thank God. <laughs> okay, guys, so welcome, uh, Janari. I, you're back. How are you feeling today? Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So how are you feeling today? Yesterday you were a little bit sick. Uh, um, uh, yes, I'm sick too. Oh. I, I, I have a headache because I have high pressure. Oh, okay, okay. High pressure blood, high mm -hmm. blood pressure. Yes. Uh -huh. High blood pressure. High like blood that. pressure. I totally understand you. Okay, so welcome guys to the session number four. Okay, as you remember yesterday, we were discussing some topics. We were uh, catching up with the things that we did during our vacation. And uh, we had the opportunity to practice some English as well, specifically with conversations and answering some um, questions about the topic that we had. First of all, uh, we're talking about the product line, as you might remember. Do, do you remember what a product line is? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, so floor is back and Suleyma too. Hey, nice mask. Sorry? Nice mask. Oh, uh, very colorful. Nice. <laughs> yeah. It's really nice, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you. Okay. And we have Elizabeth as well. Awesome. 
Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. So, uh, I think that now you can see me and you can hear me well. So, we're going to uh, move on. I think the connection is going to be a little bit better today because I was doing some modifications to the to the router and I also adapted a new space uh, for connecting so hopefully that's going to help and I will be a little bit more comfortable let's say um, so let's see who's next well who's who's joining us right now Juan Jose we have Brenda, Irma, Jackie, Miguel is here. So I'm going to, to take the attendance uh, in a moment. But first of all, I just want I just I was just trying to catch up with what we were doing yesterday. So I told you, I was asking you the question: what is a product line? Based on what you remember, you don't have to give me a technical definition from a dictionary. Just an opinion. What is a product line? Uh, hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, Francisco. Uh, um, my opinion is when you have a, a whatever product, uh, when you, you are producing in, in mass. Okay. Or um, uh, how do you say volume? Volume. 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 Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it could be, it could be that you produce it in large amounts, but not necessarily, right? Not necessarily. It can be just a new product that you uh, add to the to the products that you already have. And we were mentioned in the examples, right? Yesterday, like, like uh, restaurants. In restaurants, yeah. sometimes they, um, they start with, a new, with an idea, right? A basic idea. Maybe I can tell you an example of La Pampa, right? So they start, the, the first idea they had was just to have meat, like steaks, chicken, and... Uh, everything was going to be grilled. But after that, they started offering uh, other kinds of food, right? That were not specifically mm -hmm. meat. So they started with yeah. salads, with desserts, with coffee, and a lot of new products. So that's mm -hmm. a product line, right? So they start producing a new product and they offer it to the customers. Very good. Thank you, Francisco. And um, okay. Miguel? You raise your hand. Tell us, please. Yes, teacher. Uh, um, I think it maybe to can be a pattern to follow when uh -huh. a product when a product is um, how do you say acceptable, teacher? Acceptable. Acceptable uh, to customer. I think. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. So yes, that's another example. And um, let me check. So I'm going to move on to the next topic that we had. We were talking about the person perfect. That was the grammar topic that we were discussing. And um, what is the auxiliary verb that, or the, what are, the two forms of the auxiliary verbs that we use for the present perfect. Have and has. Have and has. Okay. When do you use has? With the third person. What is the third person singular? She, oh, he, and it. He, she, and it. When we talk about objects, things, places, right? Animals, right? So in those cases, we use has. For example, if I say um, in Spanish, right? Eh, mi empresa ha 
eh, abierto una vacante, una, un, una posición laboral, una nueva posición laboral. How do you say that in English? My enterprise has opened. My what? My enterprise has opened. My enterprise, or in this case, the normal expression that we use is my company, right? My company or okay, my, my institution. Company has, uh -huh. My company has, 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 has what? Position. Open. Has open, open. Has open, right? Has open a new job position, okay? A new vacancy, right? So a new, that's, that's what you say, right? has opened, very good. If we say um, a, more, a more difficult sentence, okay? A, la nueva línea de productos ha, a, ha sido aceptada, ha sido aceptada por la mayoría de los clientes. How do you, how would you say that? La nueva línea de productos ha sido aceptada por la mayoría de los clientes. The new line, the new product line has been accepted. The new product line has, has been, been accepted. Okay, the new product line has been accepted. For the majority of our clients. Mm, four. What is what would be the word instead of four? Aceptada by the customers. Bye. Bye. Okay, that's correct. Has been accepted by the majority, or by you can say the majority of customers, or you can say by most, right? By most of the customers. Okay. So uh, right. by the majority of the customers. There you go. I wrote it in the chat so you can see, right? Has been accepted, okay? Um, now we're going to move on and I'm going to take the attendance. So that's the, the second topic that we were discussing, the person perfect. We saw that in the previous module, right? But we're going to continue because as you know, that's not a, an easy topic. And the biggest difficulty that the, the students have is that students don't study or don't learn the conjugation of the irregular verbs. So they know the, how to use the verbs in the base form, but they forget, wait a second. Yeah, it's true. Hello. Okay, the teacher went on vacation for some seconds. Um, so, wait up, wait up. Yes, it happened again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so right now I have three options to connect. Wait a second. So I have the extension, my cell phone, and the main connection, the main network. Can you- Are you, you neighbor's Wi-Fi? I don't have their password. <laughs> I think they have my password, so maybe somebody. That's why it's low. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to change the password. Okay, so now you can hear me well. Yes. Okay, perfect. So as I was telling you, the biggest issue with the person perfect is that students don't usually study or practice the, the conjugation of the irregular verbs. So that is an issue, okay? Because we know probably the, how to use the verbs in the base form, and sometimes we know the past form, but we don't study or we don't remember the past participle form. That is the form number three. So people remember the, that the verb is grow in the past is grew, but then they don't remember that the third form or the past participle is grown, right? They remember that is drink and drank, but they forget that the third form is drunk, okay? The same thing with eat, ate, eaten, 
right? Um, so that's the issue. It's not that it's difficult, but we need to study those forms. Okay, so make sure that your microphones are off, guys, so uh, that there is no Teacher. interference. Hello? Teacher, is it drunk, like drunk? Like when some, someone's drinking and gets drunk, wasted? Yeah, drunk, like that. D-R-U-N-K, yes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the person can also be a drunkard. That would be another word. Okay, but uh, let's go on. Now I'm going to okay. take the attendance quickly. Uh, Beatriz, Ana Beatriz, Valencia. I'm here. Okay, uh, Ana Maria La Maravilla. I'm here. Blanca Stephanie Navarro. Hello, Blanca Stephanie Navarro. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> We're watching a BTS video. Now, uh, we continue with Diana Yesenia Reyes. Present. Okay. Uh, next one, it's Flor Hidalma Ramirez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, it's good to see you again, Flor. Thank you. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta. Here, teacher. Freddy's Vladimir Cortez. I hear teacher. Uh, Glenda Laura Celada. I think she's not here right now. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Harbin Isaac Guevara. Present teacher. Excellent. Jennifer Gisela Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Welcome back. Juan Jose Avalos. I am here, teacher. Okay, so the people that were not were not in the class yesterday, please through the chat tell us about your vacation. How was your vacation? What do you do? So you can write down in the chat and later we're going to read. Okay, what you what you did. Yesterday we had a chance to listen to everybody. So but we would like to know what you did. Well, I would like to know what you did. <laughs> um Next, next one is Luis Gustavo Asensio. I think he was driving. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Okay. Are you home now? I'm, I'm here right now. Yes, okay. I'm okay. Home. Now you. I see you with the Metallica background. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, then we continue with Miguel Angel Centeno. Here, teacher. Okay. Make sure that your microphones are off, guys. because I hear a little bit of interference. Uh, Roberto Fabio Ayala. I'm here. Next one is uh, Rolando Antonio Quintanilla. I'm here. Jessica Yanari Cortez. I'm here, teacher. Irma Roxana Najarro. Hi, teacher. Ana Elizabeth Berrios. Hi, teacher. I'm here. Suleyma Lisset Mendez. I think Suleyma was around there, but she's working. Too. I'm here, teacher. Okay, there you go. Yes, I'm working, but I'm here. Excellent. Okay, so um, I look a little bit darker than usual, but it's because of the position where the light is, guys. So probably tomorrow I, I, I'm going to get a little lamp or something. Um, but let's go on okay um so let me check the chat somebody wrote and no nobody has shared their information okay uh we're going to move on and the last topic the la that we talked about was who remembers the last topic that we mentioned About this work in an in a company, for example. About the? SWOT. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. So, yes. This video, we're talking all about SWOT analysis. We well, were talking about SWOT. What, what is the meaning of SWOT? Every letter has a meaning, right? What does SWOT stand for? That is a question that I'm going to ask you, okay? 
whenever you, when I say stand for, that is what is the meaning of the letters, right? So for example, what does, I want to write in the chat, what does SWOT stand for? SWOT is strength. Strengths, weakness. Strength, weaknesses. Opportunity and opportunities treats. and treats. Treat. No, treats. treats. Treats is what you ask in Halloween, trick or treats. No, in this case, another word. Threats. 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 Okay, threats. threats. Very good. So in Spanish, what is the equivalent? Foda. Foda. Okay. Raise your hand if you have ever been analyzed with a foda or if you have ever conducted a, a foda. Okay, Diana, yes. Who else? Who had an evaluation similar to that one? Okay, Miguel. Excellent, Juan Jose. Good. So we have some volunteers who already experienced having a SWOT analysis, okay? Now, uh, this is really, really, really important, guys. And it doesn't matter if you are not working in the human resources area, okay? Because in the end, uh, this helps you, you can do a SWOT analysis for yourself, okay? This can help you to improve, okay? And to take advantage of your strength, right? And the opportunities that you have to grow. Uh, so that is the purpose of, of a SWOT analysis, right? Uh, somebody was asking, right? Like, teacher, is, it, is that SWOT or SWOT? But as I was telling you, right? I Normally people use it like that, SWOT. And now, we're going to uh, go on. We're going to go deeper into this um, so that you know what it is, you know how to do it, and you can actually apply it, right? Uh, so that is the purpose. But before we go on, something that you were going to do yesterday was to practice the conversation, okay? Uh, individually, you were uh, assigned with you were working with someone in the in the in the during the class, okay. Uh, in the meantime, I am going to share a link through the chat so you can uh, watch the video later. Probably that can help you to understand what a SWOT analysis uh, is like. And I will share also one link uh, of analysis they made for <clears throat> Starbucks. So uh, that's a really good example that can help you um, have an idea how to make an analysis in a company. Now, um, I'm going to go on and tell you who was working with whom, okay, yesterday. So we had Freddie is working with Irma, they are here. Blanca and Jackie, they are here. Gustavo and Rolando, yes. Harbin and Fabio, Juan Jose, Miguel. Eh, Gustavo, we, okay, I already mentioned that. And we had Diana and Francisco, Beatriz with Mariela. And as we have more students today, we're going to have Floor practicing with... Ten, 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 ten. With Janari and Jennifer, you are going to practice with Suleima. If it's possible for Elizabeth, she's going to practice with me. Now, um, and what is the conversation? Okay, good question, Emilio. So that is for because Emilio was not in class yesterday, so he's asking right now. For in case you don't know, Emilio is my um, imaginary volunteer or assistant um, in the classes. So when students don't ask me a question or don't give me a comment, so Freddie is the one, I mean, Emilia is the one asking. Now, um, and after that, all the students get uh, motivated, right? Because Emilio broke the ice. Um, this is the conversation. I'm going to share the screen uh, so that everybody can see it. Okay, so this was a conversation. These are the uh, questions that I told you that to, to discuss, right? 
we already did that. So speech masters, that is a company that is focused on preparing people to speak in public. Uh, they are planning to open a new branch. What is the meaning of branch? No translation. What is the meaning of branch? According, that's one of the words that we learned yesterday. Remember? What's yeah, the meaning? You, new you store. Talk, you talk about uh, that Zocalo that have one one restaurant in San Salvador, but they want to to open a branch in San Miguel. Uh-huh, there you go. So yeah. yes, that is, uh, oh, thank you for sharing that image on in the WhatsApp group, ready? Uh, that's one of the, of the ones that I used when I was giving this um, module some years ago. So yes, it is a good reference. You can have it to remember, right? Uh, what every letter represents and also you can see the like a little description right or what things include or are considered in each letter so uh perfect okay that's the kind of things that i i want you to share right to investigate and share in the group links documents images so perfect and yes that's the, the meaning of branch right when the companies are growing they open new uh facilities, right, a new uh, a branch in different places so they can, their the business can get to more people and they can make more money, right? So uh, in San Salvador, okay, for example, can you mention one company uh, that has grown a lot and they open a lot of branches in San Salvador or across the El Salvador? One company that comes market. to your mind. Selectus Market. Select, Selectus, okay, yeah. They they started in San Salvador, I think, and now they are everywhere. Mm -hmm. Here in San Miguel, I can tell you one example that of a company that has grown across El Salvador, and that is Pollo Campestre. So they, yeah, I'm going to tell that that Pollo Campestre because I know that it start in San Miguel. Yeah, they are from San Miguel, and uh, yeah. I was surprised because on Saturday that I went to Cerro Verde. Uh, I saw that there was a campestre, I mean, Pollo Campestre in Santa Ana. I was like, wow, these people have grown from all the way from La Union to Santa Ana. You can find them. So it's it's really good, right? So they have branches everywhere. And honestly, yeah. I prefer them uh, to the company, to the competition, sorry. So, um, and they are Salvadorian. So I, I like to support Salvadorian businesses. Now, uh, Let's go on. Those are examples of branches. Now uh, we're going to practice. Uh, I don't know if um, Elizabeth, you are there. If not, we're going to start with the first volunteer. So who wants to start? Ten, 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 ten. Emilio. Juan Jose. No, not Emilio this time. So Juan Jose, you were working with um, Miguel, right? So Juan Jose and then Blanca. Juan Jose. Okay, yes. Okay. Uh, the conversation? Yeah, with uh, Miguel, right? Yes. Yes, okay. Okay. Uh, I am Mr. Rivas. Okay, not a problem. Uh, so in this okay. case, uh, well, you have three people. I am going to help you out with uh, who speaks the list. Jose, right? I will be Jose. Okay. 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 Well, let's get started. After conducting SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on and on or stop with this project. Right. Let describe the street. Strength, strength that mm -hmm. strength that mean the advantage we have over our competitor, competitor. competitors 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 yeah competitors. about the word advantage uh, or advantages uh, you can say advantages with the t sound or you can pronounce it like an n in the middle advantage advantages okay advantages okay. advantages yeah. There you go. 
You're welcome. So uh, we offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we uh, we allow them to practice their public speaking skill since the first class. Class, okay. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our stream, let's continue with our weakness. Witnesses. Weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporators corporations corporations are competitively uh, how do you say it is competitively 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 this this disadvantage 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 in our case uh witness may be uh, the lack uh, of parking space for our customer there you go you're right again mario before making a decision we still need to go over the opportunities and treat our danger outside that could affect the company that could affect the company okay there you go reactions for them please very good so we go with the claps and now blanca you are next who is your comadre or compadre for this conversation blanca thank you guys hey <laughs> I don't remember. Ah, oh, what's Xiomara? It was Xiomara. I, I remember. Okay. It was Xiomara. Go on, Xiomara. Okay. <laughs> Going to be Mr. Rivas if you want. Okay. I will continue being uh, hey. Jose, so don't, no problem. <laughs> I'm Mr. Rivas. No, I'm Mr. Rivas and you are Maria. Mario. Okay. 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 Well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT anal analysis, analysis, we will analysis. We will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let, let's describe the strange. That means the advantages we have over our competitors. 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 Okay, I'm going to do something uh, right now. I'm going to uh, make a line in the syllable that has the stress, okay, in the word, so you remember. So in this case, for example, competitors, right? That, I mean, this color is not the best one, so I'm going to use this one. Okay, stress is here advantages advantages right so it goes here in the middle advantages uh, we offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers busy agendas besides we allow them to practice their public speaking speaking skills since the first class that's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporations are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a weakness may be the lack of parking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and, tre and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Could affect, okay, that could affect the company. There you go, excellent. Thank you so much, ladies. We continue with the next volunteers. These are volunteers, right? So if we have only two more conversations, that's okay. If we have just one more, that's okay. If we don't have more, that's okay. We continue with the next point. So uh, remember that with these conversations, what we do, what we mainly do are two things. 
One is that we uh, focus on pronunciation, right? So we pronounce everything correctly. And the second thing that we do when we practice is fluency, getting fluency. Even though in real life, we're not going to practice conversations like by heart, we're going to memorize the conversations and practice them, right? But we're going to get the experience of uh, role playing, right? Role playing. And uh, right now we have, let me check who raised a hand. I think it was Francisco. Yeah, Francisco, who's your partner? Lady D. Lady D, okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Prince Francisco and Princess <laughs> Diana. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get a start. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Weather. Uh huh. Weather. Weather. There you go. Weather. Mario? Mario Francisco? Hey. Yes. Yeah. Ah, sorry. Uh, right. Let's describe the experience that means the advantage we have over our competitor. competitors. Oh, competitor. We offer we, flexible schedules to adapt uh, to our customers' busy agendas. Mario. Besides, we owe them to practice their public speak Sky size the first skills. class skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, uh, let's come continue with the our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? <laughs> Mario. <laughs> weaknesses are areas in areas in which the Corporate corporations, corporations. Mm -hmm. are compare disadvantage in our case. A uh, witness with the might the, be might be a uh, witness might be the lack lake. of lack of. Lack Lack of, of parking space for all customers. Customer. You're right again, Maria. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and the threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, lady and gentlemen. <laughs> so in this case, uh, okay, uh, outside dangers, uh, could, when we use the word could, we don't pronounce the letter L, okay? So we skip this sound. So when you say could, but when we connect could with another word that starts with a vowel, we make that, that D uh, and pronounce it as an R, for example. So we say, or dangers outside that could affect, could, a, could affect, could affect the company. Okay, those are little things that people in English, especially in American English, do. Don't ask me why. Okay, but that's that's something that we don't learn in the books, right? So we have to we learn this when we listen to native speakers or when we try to imitate, right, the way they speak. So yes, could affect the company. Correct. Uh, it's like uh, go to, right? You don't say go to. You say go to because that's the way they use it in American English. So we, we need to uh, adapt, right? And, and change those little uh, things that are not explicit in the text or in the book, but in real life, we know they use it like that. So they don't say, I want to go, they say, I wanna go, right? So they, they say wanna uh, when they're speaking. When you're writing, you do it in a formal way. When you were speaking, they use a lot of uh, linking sounds, a lot of informal uh, expressions sometimes. So we need to adapt to those little details. Now we're going to move on. Uh, I don't know if there's any other volunteer or a couple of volunteers. Three, two, one. Emilio doesn't want this time. And time is up. 
So we have three pairs of students for uh, practicing the conversation. Thank you so much. And it's time to go on with the next part. So uh, because of pronunciation issues, I am going to focus on some words so you can repeat them, right? You don't have to turn on the microphone, that's okay. Remember that uh, it's an individual uh, practice. So uh, conducting uh, analysis, whether, whether, uh, so if you are wondering about the sound of this TH, right? You know that in English, this TH has two sounds. One is, for example, when you say think, what do you think about that? So think, right? But the other sound that we have is the sound V. It's like a D, but with more emphasis, like the. For example, they, father, when you say um, feather, leather, like cuero, right? Leather. In this case, is weather. Uh, because if you don't pay attention to, I mean, if you don't make a different differentiation in the sound, there is not going to be difference if you say they or you say they. So for that reason is that we have to pay attention to the little differences between the sounds in English. So in Spanish, no problem, right? Because the de is de y no importa la palabra. <laughs> Siempre va a ser de. Dedo, uh, democracia, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Pedro, but in English, we have two sounds that are similar, but not the same. So we have, we have the normal sound, de, right? De, like they or uh, do or, uh, I don't know, uh, dice, dance, okay? But we have the other sound that is the. So if you pay attention to the way that I produce the sound, right? The, I put the tip of my tongue behind my upper front teeth, okay? La punta de la lengua detrás de los dientes superiores delanteros, right? That would be like the, uh, the. So I say they, they is like touching a little bit like the upper part of my mouth and a little bit the teeth, right? So they, they. Uh, they, that would be like, como que me voy a morder la lengua. That would be like, they. Uh -huh. um, so that's a little difference, right? But if you say, eh, they uh, are my parents, because of the context, you understand that you are saying ellos son mis padres. But in pronunciation, literally, you are saying, Dia son mis padres, right? Dia, because you say they. Okay, so it's a little sound, but it makes a big difference. And um, and the same happens, the same happens with other sounds in English, right? I think I mentioned this in the previous module. If I didn't do it, I'm going to say it again. So for example, how do you pronounce this word? Ice. Ice. And how do you pronounce this word? Ice. Is the same pronunciation? I think no. If you say, I like your eyes, you are telling me, teacher, I like your eyes. Me gusta su hielo. Yep. So in this case, because of the context, okay, and my blue eyes, I understand that you are, you are, you're talking about these two, right? But the pronunciation is, is different. So at the end, the first word is ice with the sound s, right? Um, so it's like normal s sound, right? Uh, but the second one, when you say eyes, so the sound is z. So it's like uh, the z sound, um, eyes. You have such beautiful eyes. I love them. So, um, and that's the difference, right? In, 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 the, in the sounds, there are some sounds that are similar, but there is a little difference, okay? And you have to pay attention to that. 
So make a little effort, right, to, to pronounce the sounds, okay? So that your English sounds a little bit more um, natural, let's say. So um, let's move on with the next one. That was a parenthesis. Uh, advantages, okay, strength right here. I'm going to point out uh, the words. So strength, right, with the and S at the end, strength, uh, advantages. The singular is advantage, but with the plural is advantages, right? So advantage, advantages. And then you have um, competitors, okay? Competitors. So the T is pronounced like an R, competitors, right? So you have R, R, no T and T. We don't say competitors, we say competitors. Um, we offer okay flexible schedules okay schedules that's american english in british english you will you will hear the sound schedule okay that would be british uh customers okay no problem besides no problem public okay don't forget that this is public it's not public uh public skills since uh the beginning some people confuse this uh, pronunciation, they say science, but it's not science, it's since. Um, discussing, continue, weaknesses, okay? The, the singular is weakness, the plural is weaknesses, right? So we have the strength, uh -huh, strength and weaknesses. The sound is weaknesses. Um, then we have areas, it's no, areas or areas is areas right uh corporations this word is a little complicated i i have to admit it right competitively competitively vli. so you pronounce vli. you don't pronounce the the e sound here so you say competitively competitively and then you say disadvantage normal but in the past disadvantaged with the sound d at the end disadvantaged uh, disadvantage, and, and that's it. And then opportunities, no problem, could dangers outside. Now we're going to move on to the next slide. Any questions? No, I think. No? Okay, perfect. So let's go on to the next part. That is the exercise number three. Okay, Juan Jose, you have a question. Juan Jose, what is the question? Oh, excuse me. Can you put the before the before picture, please? I have a question, but I but I write it okay. in the chat. Yes. Uh, for example, and when in the first sentences, when Mr. Rivas said we will not wait to go on our stop with this project. Uh, in this case, I think that the weather is a conditional. Or not? Okay, yes. you, yes, that's you, in, you in, instead, uh, instead of, uh, you can say we will not eat to go on or stop to change weather for if. Can you change? In this case, no, it's not possible because we are using weather for options. So weather to go or to stop. So when we use for options, we use weather. When it's a condition, we use if, only if, okay? So it's more uh, an option than a condition. Any okay. pronunciation? As you were asking, Blanca, it's the same. There's no difference in weather and weather. So it's the same thing. Really? Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. Okay, you're welcome. So you see, questions are for free. You have to take advantage of the teacher. Squeeze the teacher. Uh, Expriman al prof profesor, right? So that is how you learn. Um, 
be believe me, uh, when I was a student, uh, I used to ask a lot of questions to teachers. Um, I'm not sure if they were happy with me because I was always asking questions, but I was curious and I wanted to learn. So I had good intentions to ask questions. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, write the correct word before its definition. So right now you're going to have um, just three minutes. I think it's going to be easy for you to complete this. So in your notebook, please write down the numbers from one to four and write down the correct, well, to practice writing, to practice writing, that is something that we don't do too much in English or in Spanish. I need you to write down the complete definition with the word, okay? So I'm going to give you uh, six minutes maximum, okay? Beginning now, six minutes to complete the exercise number three in your notebook. So please start writing down the complete word and definition.
When you finish, raise your hand so I know that you are done with the exercise. Okay. And you are wondering, what is the purpose of writing if the answer, I mean, if it is already written in the manual? Well, when you, when you write, you, you improve your spelling because we forget how to write words in English. Okay, because we don't practice that ability. In Spanish, it's easy because everything is the way that you hear it, the way that you write it, the way that you that you say it, right? But in English, we need to practice because uh, imagine you have to send an email in your work right to someone in the united states and you have a lot of typos a lot of spelling mistakes that can give a bad um i don't know image probably or they can say oh no you need to improve your english maybe you you know how to say it but you don't practice a lot of writing so they can have the impression that you have problems with the language just because of the typing that you had so, hello. I wrote an I wrote an email mm -hmm. in English, and I wanted to say uh, una consulta, but I I didn't know how to 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 write it to type it. So I just put just a question, uh -huh. and I don't know if that's correct. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, just a question. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the things that uh, we think, uh, usually we think about the words in, in Spanish, and then we try, we try to say everything yeah. the same way in English, but <laughs> no, so many times we need to use an equivalent, okay, a synonym, to make it sound more natural in English, okay? Because, for example, some people say, ah, you have the reason, because they are thinking in Spanish, tienes razón, o tienes la razón, but in, in English, you have the reason is not a common, exp I mean, people don't, don't use that expression in that way. If you want to say, tienes razón, people say, you're right, you are right. Yeah. It's not, you have the reason. So sometimes we make that, that mistake because we're thinking about the word or the expressions or the ideas in Spanish, and then we translate them into English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, I use the translator, but it, it sounds like it it was sound sound like like not natural. Not natural, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes, and sometimes Google Translate that has that problem that they translate everything literally. So maybe you should use other options like I don't know Reversa. I use Reversa when I have some doubts uh, because they give you a lot of examples, so it it helps uh, more than the Google Translate. Now, uh, Rolando, you have a question? No? Somebody said something, but I, I didn't hear who that was. Okay, so time is up, guys. We're going to check the answers, even though the answers were very easy. Um, so what about number one? Who can read number one? Volunteers, please. Okay, Rolando, go ahead. Okay, a strange. Strength. Strength. With the sound theta at the end. Yeah, strength. Because if you say strange, that is extraño. Ah. Uh, yeah, strength. Uh -huh. Strength. Yeah, strength. Very good. Strength. Strengths provide an analysis of the company. Advantage over. Advantages. Advantages. Advantages over its competitors. Competitors. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Number two, uh, that would be Francisco. Correct. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, for number two, I select the threats. Threats. Or threats. 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 Uh, Consider areas mm -hmm. in which the comp companies are at a com competitive competitive disadvantage. Disadvantage. Okay. Um, Rolando, you have a different opinion? 
Yeah. For me, is, the, for me two. the number two is weaknesses. Weaknesses. That's correct. Right. Yes, you can get confused with weaknesses and threats or opportunities and strength, but there's a little difference between them. Yes, this time number two is weaknesses. Number three, who wants to read number three, Diana? Uh, the number three is opportunities are a list of unexploited markets or business developments. Business developments, okay, unexploited, that's correct. So yes, those are opportunities. So as you can see, the order is the same that it's in the in the box, right? So it's strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So the last volunteer is Blanca. Number four. Okay, that is threats. Explore the external environment that will affect environment sorry mm -hmm. that could affect the company including technological mm -hmm. environmental 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 and regulatory regulatory factors regulatory factors okay so that is correct so uh, those are threats explore the ex the external uh, environment that could affect the company right so could affect that's right. Thank you so much to the four volunteers. Remember, right? Every opportunity you have to participate, do it. Okay. That's the way that you use the language. And remember that if I make an observation or I tell you to that the pronunciation is like this or that the correct word is this one, I do it just with the purpose that you um, remember that and then you use it in that way. Right. So in the future, when you say, for example, um, I don't know, threats and no treats, right? And people tell you, no, it's not treats, it's threat. But the teacher Freddie told me that the pronunciation was treats. So, <laughs> right, so that, what, I would, what I want is, is to share with you the way that uh, things are so that when you use the language, you have the confidence like, no, teacher told me that it's threats. So don't tell me that it's treats. Right. Um, and then if you have a problem with something that I tell you, you can send me a message. Hey, teacher, you told me that it was threats and a gringo told me that it's threats. So you made a mistake. <laughs> then I can tell you, oh, let me check. Oh, yeah, you were right. So I can make a correction. Right. But I am trying to do my best. So that you learn the way that it, it is supposed to be. Right. Now we go. We go on. We go on with the next one. But here we're going to make a pause because I need to take the attendance and check who's still here and who's not. So uh, we'll start from the last from the last of the list. So Elizabeth, then Suleyma. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, good. Uh, Irma. Present teacher. Gianari. Rolando. I think you are having some connection I'm problem. here. Nice, Fabio. I'm here. Excellent. Uh, we'll continue with Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Good, Gustavo. I'm here, teacher. Juan Jose. I'm here. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Harvin. Present teacher. Okay, Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Francisco. Present. Floor. I'm here. Diana. Present. Brenda. Blanca. Mariela. I'm here. And Beatriz. I'm here. Okay, perfect. There you go. Teacher Janari is here. <laughs> Janari says that she's here. Okay. Jackie is here. And Jackie is here too. Okay, Jacqueline. I think I didn't mention your name, right? Okay, Jackie. Perfect. Thank you so much. So let's go on. Show must go on. So speaking of show, we're going to play. Now, Play with 
through learning, right? Learning through gains. That would be the word. So I'm going to share a link with you. You need to access that link, okay? And we're going to start with a little game, okay? To check how much you understood the topic, the grammar topic from yesterday. So the grammar topic from yesterday that we studied and we reviewed was present perfect. So um, we're going to have this mini quiz uh, that is going to be interactive to check if you have all the ideas clear related to this topic. So I'm going to share. You can click on the link that I share, that I sent to the chat. Oh, wait, I didn't send it. Now I did. <laughs> OK, so you can click on it. And when you enter, you will have an automatic funny name so you don't you don't have this is going to be anonymous okay um these are funny names that the 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 application gives you automatically okay so we have paprika calamundin dacon the little nanny weasley juca crane oregano bennett parship parsnip potter monk mcmurphy kiwi can <laughs> okay fennel hinkle gore guinevere strawberries crush okay we have 12 people already connected what are you guys? Chili Colwell, okay. I don't know who Chili Colwell is. Coconut salt, saffron, uh, Julian, okay. Awesome. We have 15 people connected. Please up, click on the link that it's in the chat so we can start with this little game. Have a narrow, have a sham, okay. So it's going to be just 16 questions. Uh, it's pretty easy. I'm going to control the questions. Okay, you have to select the option that you think is correct. It's mm. multiple choice and that's it. In the end, we're going to see the top three, right? Or the top five people who we ha who have more correct answers. Okay, Akai Archimboldi. I don't know what that is, Archimboldi. Okay, we have 17 people already connected to the game. We are missing around three or four more. Please click on the link that I share through the chat. Excellent. Oka Okara. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. We're ready to go now. So here we go. <laughs> Okay. I've been married for two years. I has, I have, I haze. Teacher, the music. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, to have more emotions. Okay, the time is up. So you only have 20 seconds to choose your answer. But the faster you choose the answer, the faster you choose the answer, the more points you get. So you have to choose it fast and furious. So have, very good. And apparently three people didn't get it right. Okay, next one. Wait. I'm going to go on to the next question. I, a teacher since 1998. You see the three options, right? I has been, I have been, I hasn't been. Time is up. Everybody answered, and the correct one was I have been. 
So Noni is, <laughs> is at the top. Okay, so let's continue with the next one. I have never, that is not, that reminds me that Messi is not in Barcelona anymore. That's a shame. Okay, let's not talk about soccer right now. I have never visited, I have never visited, I have never visited yet to Paris. Hurry up, time is running. And all done. The correct answer was I have never been, I have never visited Paris. Okay, visited, correct. So 16 people got it right. So we'll continue with the next one. I have for my uncle. Work, working, work it, worked or worky. Two, one, time is up. Okay, so the correct answer is I have worked, right, with the sound at the end, with ED. So Kalamadin, Juka, and Nani are at the top. Let's continue with the next one. My friend. Have not seen, haven't saw, hasn't seen my new dress yet. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, everybody got the answer, and the correct answer was hasn't seen. Okay, so a strawberry is going up. Next one, quickly. Three, two, one, go. I am looking for my pen. I did lost it. I have lost it. I has lost it. Okay, that was fast. So everybody got it. And the correct answer was, I have lost it. Okay, strawberry, mung, and chili are coming up. That's awesome, let's continue. Yeah, the majority of you got it right. I've lost it. You ever been to New York? Has you ever, have you ever, hasn't you ever? Right, so time is up and let's check the answer. Okay, Kalamadin is going up. And yes, I have, well, have you ever been to New York? That was a question. Next one. not done my homework yet i hasn't done my homework yet i has done my homework yet okay right on time the last one so yes that was the correct answer i have not done my homework yet next one let's go okay it have not rained for the last month it haven't rained for the last month month and it has not rained for the last month okay 16 people already answered 17 people and Hurry up, hurry up, one more person. 
There you go. The correct answer is it has not rained. Okay, there you go. None is in the second place. Let's go on with the next one. I watched two seasons of this TV show. I has watched, I have not watched, I has not watched, I hasn't watched. Time is up. So the correct answer is I have not. Okay, next one. Oh, this is repeated, so we're going to skip it. Answer it quickly, you know the answer. So we have a second chance to, to get that right. The right answer was, uh, well, in this case, uh, if you got the number has finished or hasn't finished, both are correct, okay? Because of the game, only one can be correct, but in this case, both make sense. So if you got has finished, it's also correct. So good. Next one. You worked for your uncle. Question. Has you worked for your uncle? Have you worked for your uncle? Has you worked for your uncle? Easy, easy, busy. And the next one, almost the last one, the before last one, is Has he read, have he read, hasn't? He read, haven't he read the book that you gave me yesterday? Okay, the correct answer was, has he read? Okay, then we go with the last question. Last question. Ready, set, go. Two, one. Write the past participle of the verbs below, which are regular, which are irregular. It will be hard to finish it because it's, you need to write a lot, but you will see the answer. The past participle. Okay, so my, oh. only two people try to answer because it was not enough time to answer this question, so don't worry. But okay, what is the past participle of the verb dense? Dense. Only add the letter D. Is that regular or irregular? Regular. 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 Okay. Open. Regular. 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 Regular in the past only ed, right? Uh, listen. Regular. Regular. Listen. You add ed. Listened. Uh, go. Irregular. Went. Irregular. Went. What is the past participle of go? Oh. Gone. Went. Went. Gone. 
gone. Okay, gone. gone. Remember, the past participle is the third form. So we say go, went, gone. Okay, go. very good, gone. So uh, number five, eat. Eating. Irregular. It's irregular. C. Irregular. Seen. Seen. Irregular. Very good. Do. Irregular. Done. Irregular. Irregular. Done. Very good. Visit. Regular. 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 What is the pronunciation in the past? Visited. Visited. Okay. Visited. Correct. Uh, fall. Fell. Fallen. Fallen. Fall. That's right. Fall. Fell. Fallen. So falling is regular or irregular. 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 And what about give? Given. Irregular. Given, it's given. irregular. irregular. Correct. Give, gave, and given. given. Correct. So that's what you have to do, right? You have to study the verbs irregular. and the conjugation, right? You practice the pronunciation. You can classify them, right? Uh, if you remind me, I can share with you the, the, the list of irregular. irregular verbs again in groups so that you can study that uh through the whatsapp group so i can send you that again uh, i shared that in the last module so if you have it and you want to send it to the group for the new students please do it um now we continue and we check the results okay now we're going to discover who these people were okay so um let's go to the last part next question is the result yes Wait a second. Okay, so the places were the three places were okay. I lost. I lost it. Wait a second. Where were they? So the finalists, uh, I mean, the people who got the highest points were the Kalamatin, Strawberry, and Chili Caldwell. Who was the Kalamatin Castellan? Who was that student? Reveal your name. <laughs> Me, teacher. Oh, it was Beatriz. Who was the Strawberry's crush? Was Brenda. Me, teacher. Who? Blanca. No, the first one was Brenda, teacher. Brenda, oh, I, I, and I, yeah, and I'm the second one. You're the second one, and who was the Chili Caldwell? Me, teacher. Who was me? Wait a second, I cannot Harvey. see your. Ah, Harvey. Harvey. Okay, Harvey. okay, okay. There you go. Excellent. So, congratulations, everybody. Now I'm going to use the reaction. I. Do you like it? Amazing. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Okay, good. Okay, I'm glad that you liked it. And it's time to go on. Uh, so, as I was telling you, right, it's necessary to study the irregular verbs and the conjugation, especially in the third, in the past participle. So, for the present perfect or for any perfect tense, for the present perfect, past perfect, future perfect, um, so it is necessary. Now we're going to go on and as uh, the next point, I'm going to share with you the following. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we already discussed the SWOT analysis, right? And um, we had the opportunity to complete the exercise. Now you know what uh, the strength are what the weaknesses are because this we were doing this exercise right right here and on page number 14 however okay something that is important and that can be a little bit confusing if i don't explain to you if you don't practice if you don't study especially when you want to do the exercise on the platform and this is what freddie was asking about last night is how to use the reduce adverb classes okay um you don't have to remember the name of the topic right or you don't have to remember the formulas that much so what you have to remember is the way that we use it okay so uh basically the adverb clauses uh, introduced by before after since and while can be reduced to modifying adverb phrases 
Okay, uh, we're going to see the examples, right? So uh, in this case, we have the advert class, number one A. After we conduct a SWOT analysis, after we conduct a SWOT analysis, if you pay attention, we are using the specific words, the after, then we have a comma because we are connecting two classes, right? Two statements. After we conduct a SWOT analysis, comma, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. So that is one form. You can, one way. So after after we conduct this, we will know. After, so we... after we conduct. So we pay attention the way the verb is used. So in this case, we use the verb with no modification after we conduct. So you can use it like that. But if you want to make this reduced, so you make it smaller, you can use the ing. So after conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know where to go on or to stop this project. So the, the result is the same. We don't make any modification. The only difference is that you can say after we conduct as an adverb clause, but if you want to use an adverb phrase that is not a sentence, it's just a phrase that is a group of words, right? That alone have no meaning. If you say after conducting a sort of analysis, uh-huh, no meaning, right? You need the complement. So you have the two options. If we use after and you want to use it as a phrase and make a reduction because you don't want to speak too much or you don't want to use many words, you, you can easily just say after conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know the results. So um, for example, another ex uh, everyday example, okay? Uh, when you go like your daily routine, if I ask you, okay, what do you do after work? So after I finish work, after I finish work, I normally go home. After I finish work, I normally go home. Is that an adverb class or an adverb phrase? After I finish work, I go home. It's an adverb class. It's an adverb, adverb class. class. Why? Because uh, you don't use ing at the end of the verb. Because I don't use ing. That is one reason. What is the other reason? You use the you subject. eliminate the subject. I use the subject, right? So I say after I finish, after I finish work, I go home. So uh, that is, we need a subject. If it is, a, if we have a subject, it is a sentence, right? It is a clause, it is complete. So uh, if you want to reduce that to a phrase, what would be the correct way? The it's clause, a, after work. I finish work, I go home. After? Uh, after working, I go home. After working, I go home. Excellent. Let me just connect the computer charger because it's running out of battery or it's running out of juice. It, you can use both expressions, okay? Sure. Hello? In the homework, it says after song, two songs. So when I was answering, answering it, I could, after singing two songs, mm -hmm. It marks me wrong. Really? Yeah. Okay, we have to see that. Um, so let's go on. And you have to change to that after the comma, the performers did it did a dance. Okay, the comma is, is important, uh, okay, and that is uh, necessary. So we use the comma in both, okay, and the comma is, is important. So um to change the rest of the sentence the performance did a did a dance did a dance well right now i cannot give you the answer because everybody has to work on the on the platform right but yes uh, later on you can uh try it out and send me the the screenshots right so i can i can give you my my observations okay so okay. let's go on so so far this is clear right so you have the advert class when you mention the subject and the verb is in the base form with no modification, 
And we have the adverb phrase when you eliminate the subject and you add ing to the verb. The meaning, uh, it's basically the same, right? It's basically the same. You are expressing the same idea. Uh, but it's a reduced form. Now, to reduce an adverb clause to a phrase, do the following. What is the first thing that you have to do? Um, eliminate the subject. The subject, okay, in the adverb class. What is the second thing that you're going to do? If the clause has a form of the verb, uh, eliminate it. If the clause has a form of the verb be, okay, eliminate it eliminated so for example if i am right if i am for example if i am uh that would be a form am if you have the form is or are those are forms of the verb be so you're going to eliminate it now if the clause has any other verb different from b add ing Okay, we're going to see the examples. Okay, this is these are just the rules or the steps that you need to follow. Okay, let's go on. Wait a second. I'm going to eliminate this, clear the drawings so I can go on to the next part. Okay, the reduction is only possible when the subjects of the adverb class and the independent class are the same. This is more complex, guys, and I have to tell you this, okay? This topic is not easy as the, for example, the bird to be, right? No, this is more complex. Um, so you have to take a, a little time to read, okay, and practice. If you are a listener, for example, and you understand more when you listen, you can watch a video on YouTube, for example, about the topic, uh, or you can watch the class on YouTube, right? And uh, listen to the explanation one more time, this part of the class so that you can understand better. Uh, so the reduction is only possible when the subject in the two classes, because if you see the sentence has two parts, okay? The first part is this. And after the comma, we have the second part. So. If you pay attention, what is the subject in the in the in the class in the first class in the adverb class? We. 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 Parle vous français? We. Uh huh. So, uh, what is the subject in the second class? We. 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 Ya ven que hablan francés. So. Um, we. <laughs> we. Je ne parle pas français, okay? Um, d'accord, d'accord, we, 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 we commence to parler le français, no, no pas problème. Ajá, ahora todos los que siguen a Messi <laughs> tenemos que aprender francés, ¿verdad? Uh, para seguirlo en el Paris Saint-Germain. So, uh, now, let's go on, okay? That was a commercial, <laughs> a little joke in between. Uh, so, that's the first requirement. We need the same subject in the two classes. Okay, 2A, before we make a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats that could affect the company. Is, that pos is it possible to make a modification here to make a reduction? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, what is the subject here? We. We and we. we. So we. it's possible. What is the reduction? Uh, Harbin, can you please read the, the sentence to be? Before making a decision, we still need to go to over the opportunities and threats that they could, could offer the company. Okay, correct. Thank you so much. Now, number 3A, uh, I'm going to ask Jackie. 
3A, please. Okay, 3A. Before the new product project gets a green light, we still need to treat, to beat the treats from outside. The treats or the threats? The threats there from you outside. Go. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. We still need to be the, the threats from outside. Is it possible to make a reduction here? Product and we? Yes. No. No. No, it's not possible because it's a different subject, right? The new product, it. We? Exactly. It's not possible. So, Are different. if I say before getting a green light, we still need to be the threat from outside. Mm, no, it's not correct. So the subject in the Albert class and the independent class are different. So the reduction should not be done. Okay. When I when you see the word or the the, the independent class, okay, la clausula independiente, um, what you need to understand is that it has meaning by itself. Okay, tiene significado por sí sola. So if you say, we still need to be the threat from outside. Does the sentence make sense? Tiene sentido la oración? We still need to be the threat from outside. Yes or no? Yes? Yes. No? Yes. Tiene sentido. So it's independent class okay so independent and dependent dependent hasn't doesn't have meaning by itself okay la clausula independiente o la oración independiente lo que sea dependiente no tiene significado por sí solo por eso se llama dependiente depende de la otra clausula entonces la independiente es tiene significado por sí sola okay y esa es la eh, that is the explanation okay the difference between independent class and dependent class all that you have to know, okay? Now, uh, we're going to go to the challenge now that is to complete an exercise where you are going to determine, okay, exercise five. You are going to read the statements below and reduce the adverb clauses to adverb phrases when possible. So for these, you are going to work in groups, okay? I already shared with you the, the SWOT analysis from Starbucks in the chat, right? So you can take a look at that video later. But you are going to work in small groups, right? To discuss and complete this exercise. You are going to discuss first, if it is possible to make a reduction, if it is not possible, no modifications. If it is possible, you need to make the modification, okay? So um, that's what you're going to do right now, okay? In the breakout rooms. Do you have any questions before you go and complete the exercise? You can take a screenshot right now if you, if you want. Do you have any doubts about the, the topic, about the exercise? Okay, somebody's taking a picture of the teacher. No, just kidding. So, nope. No questions. Everything's no, clear. Don't. Awesome. I love students who- Maybe we have a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have a lot of questions. You're like, teacher, oh, too okay. many questions. Okay, Floor, you have a question. And yes. says no, Beatrice, okay. <laughs> Can you explain again about the verb be? About the verb be? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when the verb be is in the sentence, you eliminate it to make the reduction. Okay, so you have to eliminate it. Uh, I'm going to go back here. Here, if the clause has a form of the verb be, eliminate it. If if a different verb that is not a verb be, what you're going to do is to add 
ing to the verb. If the verb is go, play, work, you add ing. But if the verb that they have in the sentence is the verb be, you need to eliminate it. Not ing, no a new verb, only eliminate it. Goodbye, no verb to be. Okay, so that's all that you have to do. Uh, for example, in number four, many promising product ideas are ruled out after they fail to produce positive results in the SWOT analysis. So, if we have the verb be any form, R is M, what do you have to do? Eliminate. Eliminate it. Okay. If, if it is possible to reduce the sentence, if it is not possible to reduce the sentence, then no modification and you say like, it's not possible to change this teacher. So that's what you're going to do right now. You're going to discuss and identify which of these sentences or statements can be reduced and which ones cannot be reduced. Okay? That is the exercise about that you identify which when it's possible to, to reduce the sentence and when it's not possible to reduce them. According to the rules. According to the rules. Okay? So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms because we don't have that much time. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to complete this exercise in groups, okay, of three. So you're going to have the opportunity to discuss and get the answers. Later, we're going to check the, the correct answers, okay, in the class, with, with all the class. So, uh, Flor, you have another question? Go ahead, please. Yes, teacher. Can you can you put again uh, the rules, please? Okay, okay. One second. Uh, uh, here you are. Wait. That's the first part. Uh, over here. When when says that you have to eliminate the subject in the adverb clause is because the those the, the two tenses sentence have the the same, same subject, subject. Uh -huh. so you eliminate it in the adverb clause the adverb clause is the first one okay the adverb clause it, is the the clause that has before after since or while ahí tienen que identificar la la uh, cláusula adverbial es la que tiene el after, before, since, or while. Es el que van a eliminar, no el segundo. No este, sino este. <laughs> okay. But is, if not necessary, that has to be the same word. For example, in the in the first sentence could be uh, something, anything. And the second sentence is it. Not, not is the same word. Uh-huh, but, but, uh -huh, but when you say something and it is... About the same. It's about the same thing, uh-huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Teacher. If you say the company and you say it, it's the same subject. It's the same okay. subject, right? It, so if, yeah. if you are talking about the same, the same subject, right? The same subject. You Not the necessarily same the same word. Exactly. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Okay, another question, Beatriz. I think it was Beatriz. Yes. What happened if you had a a verb in past in the sentences? What happened if you have a verb in the past? Yes. For example. For ex in the example that we had at the beginning of the page, can you up, please? The of the page, go up. Okay. Yeah. After we conduct, what happened in in this sentence? We if have not, if if the verb, is, for example, conduct, it's uh, in the past. You said yes. After we conducted, mm, it doesn't make sense. Or oh, or maybe instead of after while. 
while we conduct in in the past doesn't make sense in this case right because if you see the results is we will so there is in the future so um but if you say while instead of after yeah while we conduct a SWOT analysis so in the adverb phrase you will say while conducting a SWOT analysis so it's the same rule the only difference is the word mm -hmm. okay okay uh, teacher hello in the number two we have the, the example to to anna say because we have a listed before the man manager listed uh -huh. the weakness. the weaknesses of the company on a slide yeah. he had presented new products to help the company increase sales we have the same subject but uh, they have the same subject good so it is yeah. possible to make a reduction so uh, when you make a reduction you need to you repeat it huh? so in this case i will tell you this one okay i will give you this one because you have the questions you have the examples so i will help you with number two so before the manager listed the weaknesses of the company on slide he had presented new products to help the company increase sales so in this case it is possible to make a reduction because we have manager and he, he. the same person so uh, what we're going to say is we eliminate the manager yes because it's the the, the advert class we eliminate the manager Ta -da. goodbye mm -hmm. manager yes and the rule says that you eliminate the subject and you add ing so you eliminate the ed and you need to add ing so in this case ing that would be the answer before listing the weaknesses of the company on the slide he had presented new products to help the company increase sales there you have it so that's it it's about practice at the beginning things seem to be a little difficult but when you start doing them or using them it's like ah it wasn't that hard, right? It's so, simple. If, if if we have uh, if we have uh, if the if the if you follow if the have, rules, yeah, that's it. We, if you follow the only steps, chain, we only chain the verb. Yes. With, uh, yeah. And you eliminate the subject. Uh huh. Okay. There you go. So you're ready to go. One, two, three. Accept the invitation, please. You have exactly nine minutes to complete one, three, four. Well, one, three, four, five, and six if it's necessary if it's not possible don't change it okay see you in a moment Okay, let me check, floor gal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think that number one is possible mm -hmm. to, reduce, to reduce, 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 reduce it. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. reduce it. Why? Why? Because I like to yes. ask a question <laughs> because <yes. laughs> because reasons. Yes, because there are two sentences that are no. How how do you say, teacher? How do you say? Dependent or independent, right? Uh, yeah, you have one dependent and one independent. Uh -huh. So, 
we can, if the subject is the same. For example, the, the sentence say, after the product development team finished brainstorming, it is essential to this. Because the, the, because the, the, the complete sentence uh, or the subject complete is product development, development team is complete. But team? Well. Team is the subject. So we'll be after the product finish brainstorming. All this is the subject. And I think uh, that subject will be they. But here, change to it. So the first one, the first one will not be possible to reduce or... I'm wrong. I have a whole salad right now in my brain. <laughs> okay. All your neurons are activated right now. That's that's good. Yes. <laughs> so well, I, I, I send a message to everybody that I suggest you to reduce time, right? To start answering the easy ones. So the you leave the, the, the most difficult ones, the most confusing ones in the end. Okay. Okay. Identify the ones that you think are easier. Maybe. You say that we can. Oh, um, keeping, keeping as the original. I think this is gonna be reduced, right? The number three, because this is the subject. This is the subject. This is the this is the verb. If we eliminate this, we have to eliminate this and the verb B. And it doesn't make sense while in a video yeah. conference about the prototype for the new product. So yeah, you're right. It's not possible. Okay. Many promising product ideas are rule out after the fail to produce positive results in salt analysis. Hmm. He, oh, after the, I think this is the same case as the number three. Okay. A rule. Three ideas. I think this is the same. What do you think? Number four. That can be reduced. Uh huh. Because many promising product ideas is the subject mm -hmm. the verb be so we have to eliminate this i think that you identify the subject in this sentence the weakness the weakness no. No, we need to eliminate the 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 verb be the weakness of company can be and, and I think that we need to eliminate B. Um well I think that it, it's not possible number five. Ten. Why? The weaknesses of a company can be transformed into opportunities. <laughs> Excuse me, it's a it's a mosquito here near Don't my worry. mouth. Don't <laughs> worry. I, I I didn't see anything. It's a mosquito time. Mosquito season. <laughs> yeah, and Stephanie. Hello. <laughs> we have a. a, a uh, a discussion, uh, this 
discussion about discussion about, about what? many questions. Num <laughs> and number one, <laughs> the product development team is it or is they? The they. You sure? <laughs> you're the teacher. You're sure. <laughs> Now, in this case, you're discussing if it's possible to reduce number one. Yes. yes. What do you think? Uh, First of all, we say yes. After we say not. Yeah. <laughs> because in, first of all, I think that the product development team is it. Yeah. But Jarvin and Mariela say that is they. In this case, is Jarvin and Mariela is true, it's not possible because it's different subject. They are right. Okay. So it's not possible. Okay. Uh, and uh, number three, what is the comma? We don't uh, find the comma. Do you need a comma? You say? Yeah. We need a comma when the adverb is at the beginning. But the adverb is at the beginning. Ah. While, before, after. Ah. So, but if it is in the middle, that is a connector, the connection. So you don't yes, need yes, a comma. It's true. Ah, okay. Before, after, since, and while. Mm -hmm. While. Oh, so while. these are, these are, um, while this is like a comma. <laughs> so prepositions of, uh, of time, that would be the, the, the use of these words. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before, okay. after, since. Mm -hmm. oh, and the number three, uh, how do you, applicar is apply. 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 Oh. In number three, we can apply the rule. Number three. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah because we have he and he. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. How we can use how we can use the rules and that sentences if we have the subject first of all in the sentence. If the you but remember that you eliminate the subject in the adverb clause. So in this case, the adverb clause is not oh. the first one; it's the second one. So you eliminate the subject in the second clause. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the second. Ah, okay. Yes. Ah, okay. Hey, really Okay, so everybody's coming back. It was a really interesting discussion you had in your groups. I love that. A little uh, bit. Yes. Okay, guys. So um, I sh uh, something that I'm going to share with you right now and uh, before we check the answers is that on the next page, Okay, that we're going to be discussing tomorrow at the beginning of the session. Uh, you have, that is a page number uh, 16. You have some videos, how to make a personal SWOT analysis. That's an example. And how to conduct one uh, personal SWOT analysis. So I, I need you to watch those two videos, okay, to have a clear idea how, what it is and how to conduct it. Okay, why? You're wondering why? Because tomorrow you will have around 10 minutes to working groups, around 10 or to 15 minutes to working groups and create 
a complete SWOT analysis, but you're going to first decide on a new product or service your company might launch to the market. So you're going to create a product for a company that you invent, right? Um, and you're going to write down the information about the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunities, and the threats that your product has. So, um, and you're going to present it to the class. So one person from the group or two people from the group are going to present it. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow at the beginning of the session. So I suggest you, I strongly recommend you to watch the videos, read this, right? Have some ideas. Uh, if you want to remember that I already shared with you the, the Starbucks SWOT analysis, you also have the Home Depot SWOT analysis. So you can, watch, you can read this one and you can watch this video to have a clear idea what it looks like. Okay, in the real world. So that's for tomorrow. So quickly, uh, number one, was that possible to make a reduction? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. No, yes. it's not possible. Why? Why? Yes. yes, why? After the product development no. team finished brainstorming, it is essential to discard yes. ideas. Uh, okay. that are not feasible. So the subject doesn't match here. Next, the, number two. Of, uh, yeah, so it's not possible to match. Number mm -hmm. two, I did it, so point for me. <laughs> number three, Andrew kept text messaging while he was uh, in a video. Is that possible to reduce, to be reduced? No, yes. No. 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 Yes, it is yes. because Andrew and he Hippie. is the same person. Okay, and but the comma. And where is the, he, exactly? What is the comma? Why don't you need a comma here? Why is not necessary to use a comma here? Because you have a connection. Ah, yeah. Remember that we use a comma when yeah. we don't have a connector, right? So we need to divide the ideas. But in this case, if you pay attention, while is in the second clause, it's not at the beginning. So this is the clause number one, that's dependent. And this is the other one. So, uh, well, Andrew kept text messaging. He was in a video conference about for the new product. So in this case, while he was in a video conference about the prototype for the new product. Uh, this is it's another class. So it is possible. And if you pay attention, we have the verb to be. So what do we do here? Eliminate. Eliminate, Eliminate. what? The verb to be. Uh -huh. And eliminate. The subject because the it's sub mentioned before. Aha, uh -huh. so Andrew kept text messaging while in a video conference about blah, 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 blah. Correct, number four. Is it wow. possible to make a reduction? Yes or no? Yes. No. No. For number four? No. No. Yes, it is. Many promising product ideas are ruled out after failing. To after they failing. They and ideas. They ideas. Yeah. No, so I don't have idea. <laughs> so uh, yes, the, Does the subject is uh, se ideas. Uh -huh. Ideas and they are the subject, so it's the same subject. Ideas and they. When you say they, we refer to ideas. So what you do is after failing. So you eliminate they and you add ing to the verb fail. Okay? Okay. That would be number four. Number five? No. For number five, no. It's not no. possible, correct. And the last one, no. number six? Yes. 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 How do you say it? For presenting a new idea to the manager, you need to present a detailed list of costs and benefits. That's correct. 
before presenting. Excellent. So, class for you, guys. Take only two rows. Awesome. Good. <laughs> you got it. So, if you see, this is why the explanations and the practice is so important, right? And to be in the class is so important. So, uh, because of time, we're going to stop here. So, please watch the videos related to the SWOT analysis from Starbucks, from Home Depot. And um, remember that tomorrow, the first thing that we're going to do is to start working in groups. So you have to be on time for the class and um, you're going to create, okay, a, a, a SWOT analysis of a product, a new product that you will come up with. So uh, quickly, I'm going to take the attendance to make sure that everybody's here. And then I'm going to stay with the volunteer for today. So today we, um, well, I asked uh, Blanca to stay, but originally that was Jennifer's turn. So I don't know if Jennifer, you can stay tonight. Today is my, it was, it was my turn again. Okay, hold on. You stayed last, before vacation, right? Yeah. So, because Diana was not present. Okay, so in this case- the, And you be, told me August 17th. That's right, on the, on the 17th, that, that's right. No, it was the another date, but it's not today. That's right, thank you for reminding me that. So we have two options here. So it can be uh, floor. Floor, are you there? Are you yes, there? Yes, teacher. I cannot today. You cannot oh, today. Yes. So it's Floor and Freddy's the next one. Let me know, Freddy's. Nah, you can help me with the homework. <laughs> I can help you with the homework. Okay. So, uh, yeah, sure. I can clear clear your doubts. So I was taking the attendance as you were uh, telling me if the answer were right or not. So that will be all for today. Uh, guys, do you have any doubts or comments about today's class? I know it was a little bit more challenging because of the topic, but now I feel that you have a better idea about how to use this, how to identify when it's possible to make a production, when it's not, and how to do it, okay? So any Comments, suggestions, questions, complaints? Mm. Gustavo? Teacher. And Nothing. Beatriz. Sorry. Nothing. Okay. Beatriz? I, I would like to practice more about Arbor classes because I I feel this topic a little confused. It's Teacher. confusing. It's confusing, first of all, because it's a new topic and probably you have never studied that before. And second no. of all, because it's not an easy one. It can be tricky. So you have to, I mean, with one session or one explanation is not enough. One exercise is not enough. So yeah, you need more explanation, more studying and more practice. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, that's a good point, Beatrice. Uh, Juan Jose? And then, Juan Jose, I don't know if you have a question or comment. Okay, yes, I have a question. Okay, tell me. In the tarea number 1.5, the tarea I did number one. Homework? Two, it's called the homework, yes. Uh -huh. But number three, number four and number five, uh, the three um, stay wrong. I don't know why. You don't know why. So in that case, Juan Jose, you can take a screen, screenshot picture and send it to me through WhatsApp so I can give you the the observations. Okay. 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 Um, then let me check. Peter, if Lord. you have a, a link or something like that when we can practice this topic, I think that in my case will be very helpful. Okay, I will do I will share that with you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, so that will be all for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me one more time. I hope that it was a productive lesson and that you learned something new. 
So uh, if there are no more questions, no more comments for tonight. Remember that I will be there in the in the WhatsApp group as well to help you out with any doubt. And uh, we have a normal class tomorrow, but tomorrow is practice for the SWAT. So you have to be here, okay, on time. Have a good night, everybody. See you. Tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Night. See you tomorrow. See ya. Bye. See you tomorrow. All right, Mr. Rap. What? I don't I cannot read what's behind. <laughs> <laughs> so Freddy's. Yeah, I actually have I'm being a lot of confused with this. So that's why I think it's like you tried to do it before <laughs> we started that. Yeah, and right now I'm kind of confused too. Yeah. Actually, when I started before, maybe. I don't remember. I, I think I, I had practiced it, but now it's it's confusing for me. It's confusing. Okay, so um, I have one that says while I was away in college. Mm -hmm. So, what do I have to eliminate? Do I have to eliminate I? But what can what can I change? Okay, let me access the platform so I can see exactly what I mean the, the 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 sentence or the exercise you're telling me. Is that is in the number one? Wait a second. Okay, so you had the assignment. Mm. Point three, one point five. I think it's one point five, right? After yeah. they sang two songs, the performers did a dance. That one, right? Why well, I wasn't? It, let me see. It's yeah, it's one point five. So Actually, um, I have answered number one and number two. You have right one now. and two. Okay, so you have the problem with number three. Number three. Yeah, it says while I was away in college, mm -hmm. I stayed with my roommate's family during one sprint break. Okay. So, so first of all, uh, it is possible to reduce it, right? Uh, it says so. All of the all of them all of them can be reduced. So um. The first thing that you need to do is to identify the subject, okay? So in this case, what is the subject? It will be I. I, okay. So if we have the, the same subject, we eliminate the subject in the adverb clause. In the adverb clause, in this case, is while I was away in college. That is the adverb clause. So you yeah. eliminate I, okay. What happens if you have the the verb be any form? So be so in, in if you have be uh -huh, the verb be in any form am is are yeah so be or was were instead of was it will be being no what is the no. rule? What is the rule? If we have any form of the verb be? We have to eliminate. Eliminate it. So we eliminate I and we eliminate was. Was. So what is going to be the While this? away in college. While away in college. And then the complement. Yes. The comma and I put the complete. And the complete adverb plus, the independent plus, sorry. So it, the fourth one will be when working at home. So you see, you just need to put into practice the rules, okay? Yeah. And that's it. When working at home, uh -huh, and then the, the independent class. <laughs> yeah, Simple as that. Yeah, it, sometimes uh, what seems difficult, it's easy when you apply 
one little thing. <laughs> okay. Actually, I, I got confused, like in the breaking room too. So I was like, I'm a right, I'm a wrong. It's because you were not applying those two rules about yeah. the, well, you were applying the, the rule of the subject, but you were not applying the rule of the verb be. So, in number five, eliminate he was. No, I can't. I, I'm not going to tell you that one. I will, I will let you answer it by yourself. <laughs> and you tell me tomorrow, and you tell me tomorrow what okay. conclusion you came up to. <laughs> You have to apply the same rule. That's all that I can tell you. Okay. Yeah, if we if we apply the same rule, I eliminate he and eliminate was. Most likely. So you have another question, Freddie, or another doubt or comment? Right. Actually, right now, no. No. Well, it's I just. With you, I just had to clarify that, I think, and that will be all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, we're good. Uh, and with timing, we're okay because we uh, went on a little bit uh, farther with the class because of the questions that came up at the end. So if you don't have any other doubt or no, don't. you don't need any other advice, that's it. Or you're yeah. done for tonight. <laughs> Been great. Okay, man. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take good care of yourself. Thanks for helping me. Uh, you're welcome. That's that's my pleasure. And my job. <laughs> okay, man. Good Get night. enough rest. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. I need to be Uber right now. <laughs> what? So I'm going to be an Uber right now. Okay. There. Have fun. Okay, see you later. See you, man. Shake.